Living with lymphedema is pretty dreadful. It's very painful. It feels like you're carrying around 29 pounds of bowling balls. My mom assumed that she would have lymphedema forever. She was really sick for about a decade. It affected her ability to do everyday tasks, to cook, to garden, to go on vacation, and it really changed um, how she felt about herself. And then I saw Dr. Patel at Fox Chase, and he changed my life. Lymphedema is a persistent swelling, usually in the arms and legs, which can happen as a side effect of cancer treatment. The condition results from an abnormal accumulation of lymph fluid and tissue proteins. We find that it occurs most often in patients that may have had lymph nodes removed for treatment of their cancer, as well as radiation. We find that once the lymph nodes are removed or have been radiated, they don't function very well. Once lymphedema sets in, we also see changes in the fatty tissues of the extremities, and patients have a lot of pain. I had a mastectomy in 2004, and I developed lymphedema right away. The only thing that they can do really was a compression bandage. It's a lot of work and it's a lot of wrapping. Patients are having to perform conservative measures such as wrapping the extremity, going to sleep with compression garments, and that's very difficult. It's very uncomfortable for patients to do that. You can imagine, you know, walking around in a hot summer day when it's 90 degrees out and you're having your arm wrapped in this big bulky dressing. It's not comfortable. Fox Chase has a support group for lymphedema and they meet four times a year. Dr. Patel spoke at the meeting and talked about having the surgery. At Fox Chase Cancer Center, our plastic and reconstructive surgeons offer surgical options in combination with physical therapy to patients for whom conventional lymphedema treatment has not relieved pain and swelling. So at Fox Chase, we're doing two operations now uh, to help patients that have lymphedema. So one option is uh, an operation called a lymphovenous bypass. What we're doing there is we're bypassing the lymphatics where they may be obstructed. So it's essentially like plumbing. When we have a pipe that's blocked, we can bypass it by putting another pipe to go around that area of obstruction. That's essentially what we're doing in a lymphovenous bypass. At Fox Chase, our surgeons are applying novel surgical techniques to treat lymphedema including a procedure called vascularized lymph node transfer. Essentially what we're doing there is we're replacing the damaged lymph nodes with lymph nodes that are not damaged, with healthier tissue. And we take these lymph nodes from a non-critical area of the body and transplant them to the extremity that's been affected in the hopes that it'll restore the function of the lymph nodes. Microsurgery is a very important part of, of these operations. These structures, the lymphatics that we're operating on, are a millimeter or so in size. We have to reestablish the blood supply to those lymph nodes, and in order to do that, we have to use techniques of microsurgery to put together arteries and veins that will allow that tissue to survive. In 2014, I had a lymph node transfer from Dr. Patel at Fox Chase Cancer Center. After the surgery at Fox Chase, it's just been incredible. My life is better. She's herself again. She's able to do the things that she loves to do, being active and cooking and dancing. This is a relatively new uh, field. We like to consider ourselves pioneers in this. Uh, there are not many institutions throughout the country that are performing these operations. To some degree, almost every patient has had some improvement. The lymphedema program at Fox Chase not only helped my mother's life, but it helped all of us. When one person in the family is ill and suffering, it changes everybody's life, it ripples. So her healing has allowed us to become our normal selves again. To learn more about lymphedema treatment options at Fox Chase, contact us today at 888-FOX-CHASE or visit foxchase.org.